What is going on YouTube? Today we're at the Goodwill vending machine and we're gonna try to flip some of these drinks for a profit. I'm just kidding with you guys. We're at the Goodwill bins. Everything in here is by the weight. It's like 99 cents a pound for most of the items. And we're gonna try and actually find some cool stuff in here to flip for a profit. There are so many books in here today, but they already get a switch and people who scam books already got the good ones. And I did find these hokas, but they're just a little bit too dirty. They have too much wear on them, like too much wear on the front. And then, I don't know, the color, like it's like gray, but it's like very discolored and black. So I'm gonna pass on these. I have no idea what's going on over here but they're jipping us on half the store i don't know why there's caution tape here it really looks like a crime scene it's all like furniture like i have no idea why there's so much furniture and stuff over here and like pallets i have no idea why they're doing this so far i found this dunlop chipper it would probably cost like a dollar or two dollars here at the bins but it's only something for like 15 dollars plus shipping so even though there's a little bit of profit to be made i don't want to store this and ship something like this and i also found this one air max 90 i think it's 90 or 95 it's not in great shape but I only found one shoe. I can't find the matching pair, so toss that. I'm really struggling to find some items right What are these nunchucks? <laughs> I just found these and I'm really, really sad about them. They're completely damaged in the front. I can't even get these, but just so you guys know, Air Force Ones and really cool patterns or colorways are, can be worth a lot of money. And these would have been good for at least $70 to $80 plus shipping on top, but it's a shame that these are completely beat up. I'm gonna have to toss these back as well. And Crocs are actually a great thing to sell as well, but these things are too beat up. If they weren't beat up, I'd probably be able to get like 15, 20 plus shipping, but in this condition, maybe even seven to $10, but it's just not worth my time. Can I hire you? I think I'm gonna get this, but I do have a question. Um, would you guys consider selling just this part of it? Huh? Would you guys consider just selling this? I don't think so. Okay, no worries. Then I'll just combine and get both of these. Thank you. Thank you, you too. So before I actually go in and explain to you guys what I just bought and how much I'm going to make on it, let me explain to you the pricing. So sometimes the Goodwill Bins puts video games and certain items up at the counter and they individually price it. Do I agree with what they do? No, I do not agree with it at all. At the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. And if you can still make profit on it, I suggest just going ahead and pulling the trigger. All right, guys. So we just copped an original white Xbox 360. I have no idea if this even works, but let me explain to you why I actually picked this up. I spent 15 bucks on this and basically for parts only, these are selling for at least 15 dollars plus shipping maybe even a little bit more because mine actually has the hard drive and some of these ones that are actually selling on ebay don't have the hard drive now you guys are probably thinking why are you spending 15 dollars on an xbox if you can only make 15 bucks on it it's because of this little guy right here currently on amazon i actually looked this little guy up and the ranking is 5794 so great ranking for video games and it's currently selling for 31 dollars and 73 cents so i'd make 22 dollars on this after fees so if you just think of it get 15 bucks back on the xbox itself and and basically just make profit on this and it should sell pretty fast. I'm happy. We got a $22 profit to start off the day. That's why I actually asked them if they could price this individually because if I can get this for like five bucks or less, I don't have to worry about the hassle of the Xbox shipping it. But you know what? I'm happy. I'm still gonna be able to make some profit. Just have to put in a little bit more work. This is Polo Ralph Lauren. It was made exclusively for fragrances. For fragrances and they sell for like 40 to 50. Another one. You found one. another one? That's, yes. That one's an even better shade. I know, I found two of them. How much you spend on all this stuff? $5.96. How much do you think you'll make from all this stuff? Two to three hundred easy. Look at that. So even though I completely didn't score anything <laughs> besides that Xbox, Emma apparently is making a guest appearance and showing me up. Look at what I just found. Sea Murder Bossolini. This is a $30 to $40 CD. Take a look at this. This is insane. Probably going to pay 10 to 15 cents on this. Another score. <laughs> Here we go, we got some media, ice cold arctic soon, I don't know. Vintage Eagles polo. Man, it's a shame this jacket is beautiful, but it's just got bleach marks all over it. L.L. Bean vintage. 90% of this stuff is straight junk. Even though I have a full cart, most of this stuff is going to be straight junk. I just have to scan through everything. You guys remember this game too? This iPhone game? Jetpack Joyrad? This was lit when I was younger. But anyways, let's get the scanning. I'll be lucky if I even come away with like five items. But this is the reality of the bins. You just never know what you're going to get. You can hit really good sometimes. You can hit terribly. This is just becoming even more and more frustrating. This is brand new sealed, but it has this scratch across the screen so i'm not going to be able to sell that as new and plus the seal is kind of coming apart but this would have been a great ranking on amazon 8000 and it would have sold in new condition for 24 making me 15 after fees but i can't pick this up in this shape even though in used condition it says 22.99 from fba the lowest copy in used from merchant fulfilled is only six bucks i'm not even going to take the chance on this i probably wouldn't even be able to get
the price that I'm asking for. Out of this whole entire cart, look what we're left with. This Eagles polo, which I'm not even going to get because it's only selling for 15 bucks. And the size tag in it is literally completely faded, so I can't even tell. So we're literally left with the one item that I had before the Switch. And it's not even in great shape. Like, take a look at this. The inside of this case is literally broken. But the CD itself still sells for like $20 plus shipping on top. So I'll just disclose that. I'm honestly happy that the CD is actually in this. Because the way that the day is going right now, honestly, this could have easily been empty. Because everything has been literally garbage. All right, so. So first things first, I got only one CD from this Switch. In case you guys didn't believe how cheap the Goodwill Bins actually is, I only picked up one CD and I literally spent 15 cents on it. So I'm going to be able to turn 15 cents into $20 on this CD. And the unfortunate thing is that I just had like 50 items in my cart and I couldn't find anything that was profitable at all in there. That Arctic Zone cooler, it wasn't even worth that much and plus it was in really bad shape. Like I kind of just picked it up because it could have been vintage, could have been good. I didn't really look at it when I picked it up, I just tossed it in the cart and I just decided to go ahead and check it out but boy was i wrong so so far today emma's clearly killing it you guys saw these how much these were selling for so for me personally i'm not really doing that great today emma's doing pretty decent but i'm really not there's definitely going to be like another switch today maybe even two but hopefully i can find some good items in the next switch but so far all we have is like 20 dollars in profit on here and let's just say like 20 dollars in profit on this deal right here as well so 40 dollars in profit today it's not really looking great this place is actually an hour away from where i live too so if you keep into account gasoline that I'm going to be spending today and probably going to be hitting up Wawa, grabbing like a little bit of food, maybe spending like five to 10 bucks there. That means right there, I'm spending about $25 in just gasoline and food alone. That's already hitting my profits at the end of the day. Obviously, that's not going to be included in this estimate. This is just for like my personal calculations though. Like I need to keep into account how much I'm actually making and if this trip was really worth my time. You guys have seen it before. Sometimes I walk away with like $500 in profit, $400 in profit, sometimes even more, maybe even a little bit less but sometimes it's really not that good but you never know anyways let's move on and hopefully i can find some better items because right now this is tragic <laughs> So you guys wouldn't believe this, but these binders right here are called Daytimer binders, and Emma just found these, and they go for $20 to $25 plus shipping on top for each of them. So this is a bolo for you guys to be out on the look for. We're still waiting for the next switch, but we're just scavenging around, seeing if we can find anything extra. So we hope you find good stuff. We need everyone to please walk, no running, no speed walking. You will be asked to leave without any purchase. Do not scoop items. Take one item at a time out of the bins. Do not... Nerf guns are actually really cool. Let's take a look at these actors. A ton of VHS tapes. The car is completely full. I'll look through all this afterwards. Guys, we just got a ton of stuff. Look at all the VHS tapes in this cart right now. This cart is completely full. We just gotta go through it and scan it all and see what's gonna be profitable and what's not gonna be. But I'm really hoping that we found some good stuff. But like I said before, you don't when you fill up your cart, you usually get about five to ten percent of it here at the Goodwill bin. So we'll see what happens. I found these nice little pair of like kids' Jordans. They go for around 25 to 30 plus shipping, but these absolutely reek of cigarette smell so i'm gonna pass on them i'm not gonna sell anything of that kind of quality it's disgusting and then these also reek of cigarettes these are only 20 bucks too so we're gonna pass on this so let's start doing a little bit of a recap we got this book right here it cost me 25 cents and it, i'm gonna be making around 14 dollars after fees on amazon i found this sealed cd credence clearwater revival on amazon i should be getting like 11 dollars after fees on this it's only gonna cost me around 15 cents and this is pretty interesting this is a 24 inch cookie monster sesame street beach ball and this actually just sold for $19.99 free shipping so i should be able to get 15 and 20 dollars on this beach ball wouldn't have thought but old vintage stuff especially like sesame street elmo and stuff like that they could be worth money and apparently national treasure on the vhs is actually kind of rare so this is also going to be another 15 and 20 bucks and then i found a ton of spongebob vhs tapes they all go for around five to ten dollars plus shipping on top each but i'm just going to go ahead and grab them all at 25 cents a piece so it'd be 125 for all of these I think I'm gonna lock them up on eBay for like 20 to 30 dollars plus shipping. All together in all of these items, I'm gonna be spending around three dollars on them, and I should be turning it into like 80 dollars in profit after fees and cost of goods. Today was just not a great Goodwill bins day, but at the end of the day, 80 dollars in profit on this bag 
and then another forty dollars in profit for the rest of the day not terrible but not great hey man could you fill it regular please yeah i'm not even gonna lie to you guys today was absolutely atrocious emma and i left to go to the goodwill bins at around 10 o'clock got to the bins at around 11 to 11 15 and right now it is currently 4 30 it's gonna take about another hour and 15 to get home because we're still at wawa right now i'm currently filling up the car with gas emma and i just got back and i swear driving an hour there and an hour back just makes me so exhausted so all together today let's just say we started working around 10 30 and stopped working around 5 30 so that's around seven hours and to make only 120 dollars in profit and that's literally before subtracting costs of gasoline and food so let's just say between gas and food that's like 25 dollars so 125 let's just make it a nice clean number that's around 100 dollars in profit for seven hours of work and the thing is it's not quick money you're not always going to have great days when it comes to reselling and that's why you also need multiple places to source that you need to source at different goodwills different thrift stores salvation armies the bins liquidation stores all these places you need to have them in your repertoire i know fancy i just use the word repertoire but anyways you need them in your arsenal god i gotta stop anyways you need them you need them basically you just need to have them in your back pocket you need to have all these stores to be able to go to because sometimes stores will stop selling items that are going to be profitable so the problem is that sometimes you get new employees and they'll pick through the stuff like at the goodwill bins or you'll have new employees at salvation army or new man that get told that you have to price things at more expensive prices so you never know what could happen in this business which is why it's very important to have so many different places to source at anyways that's gonna be the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please subscribe to this channel and have a good rest of your day peace